What is a kulintang ensemble? Where is it used? And what are the instruments comprising it? Watch till the end to find out. And while we're at it, consider subscribing to the channel and get updated on future uploads. Kulintang ensembles are basically instrumental groups which features the kulintang as its principal instrument. The linguistic groups Magindanawon, Maranao, Tausug, Yakan, and Samalbajau all practice a musical tradition that uses this ensemble. It is performed in various occasions such as weddings, entertainment, official celebrations in the community, competitions, or just for recreation among families and friends. Prominent among the Islamic coastal communities, this musical tradition was brought into the region through centuries of trade with the empires occupying the countries now we know as Indonesia and Malaysia. Although it's always associated with Islamic groups, the Kulintang Ansam is not in any way related to the Islamic faith. It may be identified as a smaller development from the more complex and sophisticated gong chime tradition practiced in Bali and Java, the Gamelan Orchestra. In Maguindanao, it is known as the Palabunibunian, which literally translates as loud sounding, because indeed, when all its instruments play together, it can be thundering. Let's take a look at the instruments making up the Kulintang Ensemble of Maguindanao. The Agung is a large gong about the size of a laptop in diameter and has a wide rim. A rim, by the way, is the height of the gong if you lay it flat on the floor. It comes in pair in the Palabunibunian and is traditionally used by men. Outside the Kulintang Ensemble, the Agung is played to mark the time of the day to serve as signal during emergencies and to announce a death in the community. Some groups also consider it to possess supernatural powers like stopping the ground from shaking during an earthquake. It is played by striking the boss or the knob of the gong using a padded mallet. Timbre can be changed by muffling the boss with one hand while striking it to create a dampened sound. The gandingan is about the same size as the agung but with a narrow rim. It is hung suspended in a wooden rack in two pairs where each pair face each other. It is played also by using a padded mallet, striking its boss which is comparatively less prominent than that of the agung. It is considered as a secondary melodic instrument to the kulintang and is dubbed as talking gongs as it resembles the tones and inflections of the Maguindanawan dialect. The babandil is a smaller gong compared to the agung and gandingan. It is played by striking the rim with a bamboo stick, thus producing a bright metallic sound profile. It starts the performance by introducing the rhythmic mode with which the entire group is going to play and guides them throughout by keeping the time as a metronome would. The kulintang is the primary instrument and provides the melody for the ensemble. It is a set of bossed pot gongs laid in a row using a wooden rack and are arranged in a graduated manner from the biggest to the smallest. Traditionally, it is regarded as a feminine instrument due to the graceful and elegant movements associated in playing the instrument. Nowadays, however, the kulintang can be played by both men and women. Check out these two other videos in my channel if you want to learn more about this instrument. You can find the links in the description. But finish this video first before doing so because we have one more instrument to talk about. The dabakan is the only membranophone instrument in the ensemble. It is a drum in the shape of a goblet covered in stretched animal skin for its membrane, which may come from goats, lizards, and even snakes. It is considered as a masculine instrument by the Maranao people and feminine for the Maguindanawan. Just like the Kulintang, men and women can play this instrument nowadays. Thin bamboo sticks are used to play this instrument producing a deep booming sound when struck. It is responsible for keeping the rhythmic mode throughout the performance which was introduced by the Babandil in the beginning. There you have it, the five instruments of the Kulintang Ensemble. If this video has helped you in any way, boop that like and subscribe button. Share it with your friends too so they will learn how to research like you do. Thanks for watching.